Hey guys, Chad Trofgerman here from IncredibleFlashTutorials.com and today I'm going to uh, demonstrate the Motion Presets feature in Adobe Flash CS4. The Motion Presets feature is actually pretty cool. It basically features a bunch of preset animations that you can apply to anything that you draw in Flash. So if you're looking to do, let's say, an animated logo and you don't want to pay someone to do this for you, you can very easily just make up a really quick logo just by using some of the text tools and by using the motion presets. So let's take a look and see what this all does. The first thing I'm going to do is come over to my toolbar and I'm going to click the oval tool which is right here. Just go ahead and click that and then I'm going to come over here to the stage. I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle by holding down my mouse button and clicking and dragging and right there that looks good. We'll release that and now I'm going to go up to Window and then go down to the Motion Presets tab, which is right here. When I click that, a new tab comes up with a bunch of different presets that we can choose from. We have a folder here that has uh, default presets. And so if that folder is not visible, is not showing all the presets, let's go ahead and click the arrow right there and then it'll show all the presets. And as you go through these presets, you'll see that there's all sorts of different animations you can do here. So, what we are going to do is come over here to our selection tool and select that. And then come over here to our circle. And now I'm going to click, hold, and drag so I can highlight the circle like that. And now I'm going to come in here to the motion presets and just kind of explore this. Let's go ahead and do the first one. So I click on that preset, the Bounce in 3D preset, and I click Apply. Flash will then tell us that we need to convert this to a symbol. So I'll just go ahead and hit OK. Now once we do that, if we look here, the um, Flash has automatically set up this animation for us. So if we go down here to our timeline, we'll see that we have a bunch of poses and animations already set. And if we come up here to our stage, we can see the path of this bounce, followed by the arc of it and the 3D-ness of it. So if we go ahead and go to the first frame and hit enter or return to play this, we'll see that Flash just automatically put this animation right into our document. And really, there's not much more work we have to do with this. It's already done for us. And as I said, this is more for if you're really new to Flash and you just want to jump right in and animate something, these, are, these uh, presets are what they're good for. So let's go ahead and try adding some text to this and see how that looks. So I'm going to come up here to my timeline and I'm just going to go ahead and hide this layer. And then I'm going to come down here to the new layer and click that, that button. And now I have a new layer to work with. So I'm going to come over here to my text tool and click that and then come back here to my stage and then click down and then I'm just going to type something in like animated text. Hooray! So there we go. Now I'm just going to kind of move this right here. And let's say you're doing like, you know, an advertisement for a company or something or for your company, let's say, for a website you can come down here and let's say you want something just kind of eye-catching and something just really quick to do. If we come down here to our presets, we could do something like the, yeah, let's do the fly-in blur top one. So we go, go ahead and hit apply. And we just kind of scroll over here. You'll see that it applied the animation. And if we hit return, it scrolls all the way down kind of like that. Here, let me zoom out here really quick so I can see that again kind of goes like that. It's really quick. However, the good thing about these presets is even though you don't have to do anything with them for them to work, you can modify them if you choose to. This goes pretty quick and it actually goes off the screen quite quickly. So let's go ahead and fix that. As you can see on our timeline, this animation goes to 15 frames. So right here is where it stops. Well, if we go ahead and grab frame 15 here, and extend it by clicking on the frame and dragging it out to frame 30 and then we go back and we play this the animation is much more quicker. We still have the problem of the text disappearing right when it hits frame 30 though. 
And again, if we come down here to our timeline and we just make a minor tweak, let's go all the way to frame 75 here, and we right click and go to insert frame, the text will stay there now when we play this animation. So go back to one and we hit enter, and then it stays there once the, uh, the fly-in is complete. And so there you go. This is just a pretty simple tutorial explaining all this, and there is a lot more you can do with Flash, believe me. But as I said, if you're new to Flash and you just want to do something quick and simple, these presets can definitely help you out. If you would like to view more tutorials, just please go to my website and they can help you out, especially if you're new to Flash. And with that, I will bid you farewell. I'll see you guys next time.